Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated. In this video, we're going to be going over Ascend Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5. And I'm going to be showing you how to change our horse mesh into a different one. Uh, a lot of people have problems with it ragdolling as soon as you hit the play button. So I'll show you how to change it. So I'll be importing the Malbers horse assets. So the horse anim set by Malbers, just because it has a low poly horse that I'm looking for. And I'll go ahead and click add to project and add it to my... Uh, I called my ACF sample project bonker and I'll hit add and you'll see that it's added here. And all I'm going to want to do is go over to my ACF horse mount BP that's already created. And now when I change my mesh into the low poly horse and hit compile and save, and if I hit play, you're going to notice that it just kind of ragdolls down like this. So it's just lying there. I mean, you can still mount it, but and my camera just goes away. <laughs> But in order to fix that, all we're going to do is just go over to our... So what we're going to want to do is go into the physics assets of our horse. So in order to do that, you can just scroll down while you're in the skeletal mesh. And you'll see a physics asset. So it'll be horse underscore physics assets v2. Double click to open that. Now you'll select everything from pelvis to tail 05. And in the details, you'll search for physics type. And you'll change this from simulated to kinematic. And now I'll hit save. Make sure you save it just to make sure it's all kinematic now and when you go back to your ultimate map and hit play uh, you'll see that your horse is standing but another thing that you're going to want to do is actually change the mount socket on the bone because when i mount it now it's still going to be sideways and yeah you're just going to have to turn it 90 degrees so when i go over to my skeleton you're going to go over to the mount point under spine one and i'm just going to make sure that it's on by 10 degrees at a time and you're just going to change this rotation to 90 just like that or you can go over here and change relative rotation to zero like that. And now hit control save. And now when I go over to my horse, you'll see that it works perfectly fine. And now my horse looks correct. I'm riding it. I'm grabbing where I'm supposed to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching Code with Row. Like, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below what you want to see next. My Patreon's in the description if you want to support my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching and let me know what you want to see next.